Before we get started, thank you everyone again for taking the time out of your busy schedules to be on this Wednesday webinar today and a happy new year to all of you. It's the, the beginning of a new year. You know, we, we, with the new year comes new year's resolutions, new goals. We kind of reset ourselves and say, hey, this is going to be a better year than what, what, you know, last year was. Absolutely, it is not just in, you know, our day-to-day -day life or our personal life, but also with our Kayani business. So, um, with that, to give you to give you some tools and, and some excitement, okay, we're going to talk about a few promotions that are going to help you achieve just that, the growth that you're looking for in your business for 2020. Now, we also do have an, an, an amazing, just out of this world speaker. She's going to be sharing some of her strategies, or as we see them, some of her secrets to growing not just her business, but her business partners, uh, you know, her organi organization. You know, she had an, uh, She was telling me she was having um, a, a, str a strategy meeting, and she was going to be talking about all that. So she's here today to share that with us. So please be ready to take some note downs because she is. She has got some wonderful advice in growing your business, establishing that strong foundation, and not just you know growing it short term. We're talking long term. So be prepared for that. She's coming up here very very soon. But before we do that, we're going to talk about the incredible promotions we've got going on. The first one I want to talk about is the Platinum Trip uh, promotion, a trip of a lifetime to New Zealand. If you've never been to New Zealand, raise your hand, even though I can't uh, see you, okay? I've never been. I would love to go, and you have an opportunity to do just that. Over the next 12 months, growing your business, you're going to be able to earn a trip of a lifetime. Now, let me give you some of the details. The qualification period started from January 1st. So it's already, it's already going, okay? So January 1st through December 31st of 2020. That is the qualification timeframe. Again, January to December. That's the time you have to qualify, okay? Now, already talked about the destination. It's gonna be New Zealand. I've only seen some breathtaking pictures. It is a must, must uh, uh, go uh, must do. It is definitely on the bucket list for, for myself, and I'm sure for a lot of you, here's your chance, like I mentioned earlier. Uh, the trip dates, we want to give you a heads up on when this is going to happen so we can also plan for that. Not just plan on how we're going to earn this, but let's plan on, hey, when are we going to go? Okay, so mark your calendar. I'm going to challenge you right now. Call to action. Go to your calendar, go to your Google calendar, and type it in April of 2021. That is when this trip is going to happen. That is when you are going to be going on this trip. So 20, uh, April of 2021, destination is New Zealand, time period January through December. Here you go. Let's talk about the qualifications. Then I'm going to talk about the reward because this is huge. Okay? Qualifications for those of you, for all eligible business partners who earned less than $100,000 in 2019, okay, you can qualify by doing the following three things. The first piece is increase your 2019 commissions by $60,000, okay? That's qualification number one, $60,000. Now remember, you don't have to do it all in one month. You have 12 months to achieve that, okay? If you divide, you know, 60,000 divided by 12, that's 5,000 a month, it is very, very doable, okay? So that's the first qualification. The next one is achieve month and paid as rank of emerald or higher at the end of the year. So in December, okay, for some of you, you might qualify uh, or you might achieve that before December, perfectly, uh, yeah, before December, perfectly fine. If you fall below emerald, that's okay because you still have to, you know, to, to, to achieve or regain that rank in December and finish as a paid as rank emerald or higher, okay? So if you make it by, let's say, March and you fall, be, you know, you fall below Emerald, it's okay. You still have plenty of time to regain that and even continue to, to, to grow your business. So that's qualification number two, achieve month paid as rank Emerald or higher by December 2020. Third qualification is personally sponsor a new business partner in 2020 and develop them as a new pearl. So there you go. For those of you who made less than $100,000, increase your 2019 commissions by $60,000, okay? Be paid as month or, or uh, month and paid as rank emerald by December 2020 and develop 
a brand new pearl. Okay. Now, for those of you who have you know worked hard over the the, the you know over the years and maybe made more than a hundred thousand dollars, here's here's your qualification uh, key points. Okay. So again, this is talking to the group that made over a hundred thousand dollars in 2019. The first qualification is increase your 2019 commissions by a minimum of eighty-five thousand dollars. Again, very doable. You don't have to do it in one month, two months, three months. You have all 12 months, okay? The second is achieve the month end paid as rank emerald or higher in December. That's key point number two, or the qualification key point number two. The third one is personally sponsor a new business partner in 2020 and develop them as a new pearl. Now, I want to highlight that for, for both those who made less than 100000 or those who made more it's personally sponsor a new business partner, not an existing business partner, okay? So if you have personally sponsored a brand new business partner from January 1st through December, anywhere in that time frame, and they finish off as a pearl, okay, they're good. They have to be new. So platinum trip, trip of a lifetime, destination New Zealand, April 2021, here we come. Now let's talk about the rewards. Like I said, this is worth thousands. We're talking... The trip, so, so this is what the trip includes, okay? We're talking a seven-day, six-night stay, not just for one, but also for a guest. So not just for you, but for a guest. Seven days, six, day, uh, six nights for you and the guest. On top of that, we're talking round-trip airfare for the qualified business partner and their guest. If that's not good enough, let's throw a little bit more on top of that. Meals provided. So on top of that, you get your meals paid for. How amazing is that? Okay. Now, if you're still thinking, hmm, that, that sounds pretty good, here's the cherry on top. On top of that, the seven-day, six-night round-trip airfare for you and your guests, meals provided. How about some spending cash to go along with that? Pretty amazing. Okay. Take, take advantage of this. It's for the next 12 months. If you have questions on this, go to your back office, go to the download section, far right-hand side, click where it says promotions. You can download the PDF or call our incredible customer service department. They'll go ahead and answer some questions for you um, or call me, okay? Now, let's go on to the, the, uh, the second promotion happening this month, already started January 1st through January 31st. Now, if you've never heard of the Apple AirPods Pro Type in Apple AirPod Pro on Google. Go watch the video. They are amazing. Okay, you you see me? I've got the uh, the regular Apple Pods. I, I thought it was life changing. These Apple Pod Pros far exceed what I've got in my ear. I mean, these these are amazing. The Apple Pods Pro. So I watched the video, and just some of the things that I really enjoyed. It's got noise cancellation. You pop those bad boys on. You're not going to hear what's going on outside. Okay, for a lot of you thinking, oh, but I like to, that's okay. Not only can you cancel the noise, so you can have a solid, clear conversation with the person that you're talking to, listening to your music, it also has a transparency mode, meaning you touch your Apple AirPod, you can now hear the noise going on around you. So if you want to hear what's going on around you or you don't want to hear, it's something for everyone, okay? Not only that, they have the custom, uh, um, the, the, the custom rubber fitting for your ears. A lot of us have, obviously, all of us have different, you know, different ear size ear canals. So they come with customizable and comfort fit uh, ear sponges is what I call them. So Apple AirPods Pro valued at $250 on the line for those who take advantage of January. And remember, if, you, if you've been paying attention, we're talking the trip. We're talking, you know, growth in 2020. Kayani is helping you set that up. The trip of a lifetime, the, the, the Apple AirPods, you're going to start off this year with a bang. You're going to set the tone for the rest of the year. Let's take advantage. Now, here's how to qualify for those, uh, those bad boys. Pretty simple, okay? All Ill eligible business partners who generate 2,500, so all business partners who generate 2,500 QV from new 
personally enrolled business partners or and or customers qualify for the promotion this month, okay? Personal, uh, excuse me, new 2,500 personal QV. That can come from business partners. That can come from customers. It can come from both. That's it. 2,500 new this month. Those bad boys are yours. You're going to be rocking in style. You're going to be listening to, to your, you know, your, your AirPods. People are going to be talking and you're going to click it. Oh, I'm sorry. What did you say? Okay. They're amazing. So check out that video. So without further ado, again, I, 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 I'm going to come back to this real quick. I can't stress on how valuable uh, uh, and, and how strategic this is to set you up to have an incredible year, not just to promotions, your goals that you've set for yourself, for your team, you know, outside of Kayani, it, it, it's, it's all kind of tied together, okay? So to talk about strategy, to talk about growth and, and setting up 2020 to start off with the bang, who better to do that than our Emerald up in Montana, Emma Wickens. She's got an incredible team, uh, just, just a powerhouse. I remember going up there, they had their first, their first meeting and I'm thinking, oh, Montana. Never really been to this town, um, you know, not a whole lot happening. It was kind of a small town, so I kind of expected a small little group. Blew my mind. It was a lot of people, and they continue to grow. So here today to share the strategies on what they're doing, what they plan to do, not just in January, but also 2020, I'm going to go ahead and turn the time over to Emma Wickens. Emma? Hi, can you hear me okay? Awesome. Well, thank you for that really kind introduction, Antonio. And those promotions that you went over are absolutely incredible. I, I can't even believe that the trip has airfare, meals, and spending cash along with, you know, just it being incredible in general. So um, I hope that everybody strives for that because it's quite a gift from Kayani um, for them to put something together like that. Um, I know that we're definitely have to put some planning together because we definitely feel like that's something that we'd like to achieve. So, um, so let's see, maybe I'll just do a quick introduction. My name is Emma Wickens. I live in central Montana, north of Lewistown, Montana, which is where Mr. Antonio was um, referring to. Uh, we were really fortunate last summer to have Mr. Carl Taylor um, and Mr. Skylar Stephenson and Mr. Antonio Rea come out and visit our hometown of, um, well, it's not my hometown, but, but you know, our, our town that we kind of started Kayani in. And it was just amazing. We had so many people come out. And I think what I loved the most about that was Mr. Carl Taylor was so down to earth and I felt like he just fit right into our community. And um, so we had so many comments after that, just how much people really enjoyed having him come up. And uh, so anyway, this whole journey has been um, a huge blessing. And I just wanna start out by thanking um, my entire team and all of the people that we have um, you know, worked with along the way the help that we've received uh, um, from other mentors in the business. And um, there's, just, there's just so many people to thank, but um, I'm really honored to you know, be asked to speak tonight. And um, yeah, so 2020 is, is uh, it started and it's already the eighth, I, I, I think. <laughs> it's amazing how fast, I was just getting kind of used to 2019 and here 2020 is. Um, I had some time to reflect the other day, um, and I just have to say that a year ago I was in a different place for sure. Um, and, you know, Kayani kind of came to me in, in an unexpected um, prayer. I guess we don't ever know how God is going to answer our prayers. And I had been struggling with a few things, and, you know, my, my very good childhood friend, Miss Nicole Harris, um, asked me to watch something. I was very hesitant to watch it. it. Took me a number of days to actually sit down and actually watch it. But once I did, I just saw some value. And I think that, um, you know, that's why I'm here. And I feel like that's why 100% of my team is here. I feel like our team is 100% product driven and the health aspect is number one to us. And so we actually got together 
<clears throat> last night and had a team meeting in Lewistown. It was really fun. We had a potluck and we just sat down as a team and visited about 2019 um, things that we found very valuable and then the things that, you know, we didn't and, and you know, talked about um, how to, you know, improve those things. And um, anyway, our meeting was a couple hours and I'm only going to spend a couple minutes on this, so, so I'm just going to touch on it. But, um, you know, the things that we found that are so good is number one, the product. The product is what drove our market. We were consistent with our work though. And I think that if you want to build a market that takes off, a, um, like ours did, is you have to kind of plant your flag and be consistent. Um, one of my other amazing partners uh, that I have had the pleasure to become very good friends with and work with is, Mr., is Mrs. Crystal Mil Milburn. And she talks a lot about the compound effect. Uh, um, and, you know, that, that's what we see is if, if you do the same things over repetition, you start to see success. And, you know, we just um, decided that we have to keep doing these PBRs. And so that's, that's what we as a team decided to do. And because of that, we had people coming back and sharing their testimony. Those testimonies got shared with new people that came to PBRs and, you know, they were inspired and hopeful. Um, a lot of them became partners or customers and they came back and shared their testimony. We have so many incredible testimonies and that's what I love the most. Um, so <clears throat> support is another thing that we talked about that we really love. Uh, the support aspect uh, in Kayani is, I don't know if this is gonna even resonate with anybody, but I haven't said this in a long time, but it just popped in my head, so I'll throw it out. But if you've ever been in an Ace Hardware in Montana, um, that's, what I, that's what I compare Kayani to. Uh, you walk into Ace Hardware and you have people that ask you, can I help you? Oh, what do you, is there something I can help you with? Uh, where, where can I show you, you know? And, and it's, it is just like that in Kayani. You have so much support and help uh, that um, sometimes you have to shut it out. <laughs> and so, um, that's a good problem to have and just I have a lot of great amazing people on the team that have been with other companies I don't have that past experience but they just say when they came to Kayani the the support and what we offer here through our classes and you know the building champions and the Wednesday webinars and all the different things that the teams do individually is you know through the roof uh, you never have any excuse for not growing your business other than just kind of plugging in and you know learning and and that's and that's how you will just plugging in and you know grabbing little tidbits along the way and applying them um <clears throat> the leaders is the other thing that we talked about uh you know building building leadership within your organization is key because your leaders are what really like get, um, you know, a market off of the ground. And so uh, I would have not identified myself. Um, I almost quit my second month uh, because, you know, I just didn't feel like I had what it, what it takes to do this. Uh, um, but, I, but I see now that so many people feel that exact same way. And um, it's about the personal development and it's also about learning what you're doing. Um, there's only a handful of problems, which means there's a handful of solutions. And once you kind of wrap your mind around what you're dealing with, it, then you can start to see the bigger picture and grasp more strength and perspective and focus. So um, I just encourage people that are feeling, you know, maybe, um, you know, if they're not feeling comfortable yet, just give it time, let things, you know, kind of settle and, you know, just keep plugging in and eventually you'll start to see like a bigger picture and a focus. Um, this is not rocket science. Um, and so, you know, the more that you just kind of understand that you just need to apply what you've learned, um, then you'll, you'll really start, you know, because just like we say over and over, the no's build you, you know, so you have to go through those to kind of build you um, and, you know, that's just, that's just what it is. So, so 
Um, family and friends was another thing that we talked about. Uh, so many of us have just enjoyed getting to um, get to know each other, make new friends. Um, you kind of consider them family after a while, and I definitely feel that way with our group. And you know, um, I just feel that any market can have that, and that's what I would advise for people who are trying to, um, you know, build in their area is, um, you know, get together and make a plan and start meeting once a week, if not more, um, same time, same place, uh, um, you know, and you're going to start establishing relationships with the people that you work with uh, and they're going to blossom. And just remember that it's not about you, it's about all of you together, you know, and, and how you can work together. And, and when you have that kind of an attitude and you're putting people first that come through the door, um, then you're gonna build a strong team. Um, flexibility was another thing that we talked about that we really liked. Um, you have the ability within Kayani to be very flexible. Uh, you can do your business, you know, anytime, anywhere, basically. Um, so there's just a lot of flexibility because of the fact that, you know, we, we use uh, artificial intelligence with an app and you know your smartphone. So um, what you can do in this business is incredible and it's very flexible. So um, <clears throat> this, this has nothing to do with the, the rest of everybody. Um, just some things that we thought that we would improve over the last year looking back was um, that weekend events um, were something that was kind of a downfall for Montana. Um, <clears throat> Montana takes, um, <clears throat> let's see, sports, like high school sports and our weekends. I don't know. They're just, whatever the kids are doing, that's what people do. It, even if you don't even have kids in sports, that's what people do. It's kind of our, our lifeline and our blood um, in Montana. And so every, you know, I feel like our whole state's very community or, oriented because of um, our small town schools and um, you know, our kids are what, you know, you know, just keep, keep our communities flowing. And so, so we just found that that was kind of a wall for us. And so that's something that we'll definitely um, talk about improving as we go into 2020. Um, uh, short term notice was another thing. And I know that um, there's a certain amount of uh, surprise and anticipation that needs to be um, a you know, generated from short-term no short notice. But we also realized that maybe that wasn't a very good fit as well for Montana. I think people um, have to really plan here. Nothing's close. Everywhere that you go is a long ways away. Um, most communities are not super well equipped, even when it comes to hosting anything. Um, we have some large cities, of course, but even then it's it can be difficult. So. Um, planning for us, we, you know, decided is needs a little bit more time. Um, anyway, there's a few other things. Um, I feel like I've been talking already very long, but, um, you know, the, you know, the bottom line is, is, you know, for 2020, you need to prepare for success if that's what you want to, um, you know, um, <clears throat> Life is, you know, it's not designed to give us what we want or need. It's designed to give us what we're prepared for. And so if we um, kind of look over the year that's ahead of us and, you know, we, we set out the vision of what we want it to be, then you need to start kind of preparing for it and um, focusing on what that looks like for you. And, you know, one thing with Kayani is, um, I would just challenge people to not get caught up in what other people are doing and their success because that's a slippery slope to be a part of and um, you are going to burn out and you will, um, you know, you'll get discouraged very easy. Um, this is meant to be your business and for you to do it your way. And, and so I, I think that the most important thing for you to have is long-term vision. If you can um, really see yourself uh, um, here, you know, like five, 10 years from now, then you were going to have success uh, and you will have more success than you ever realized. Uh, um, 
But now if you start comparing yourself to somebody who started the same time with you and they're, you know, three ranks higher and you can't figure out why you're not having that same success, um, don't play that game because, you know, your road is your road and their road is their road. And, you know, you just, you, you really need to focus on um, your personal development and getting prepared for that because when success comes your way, you want to be prepared for it. Um, you know, otherwise you one won't recognize it or you will waste it. And so um, just having long-term vision and doing the small things is really what will build you for that. Um, let me see. <clears throat> so some of the goals that we had for 2020 um, was as a team, uh, you know, we, we felt like these were really important and that was um, measuring our team retention. Um, and, you know, that can be, um, you know, measured in a few ways. Um, I believe that I can call Antonio and he can help me with that, um, <laughs> with, the, with the database that he has. But then there's other things that you can um, do by using your events um, and measuring, you know, attendance and um, who is returning and things like that. And so, um, uh, uh, the other goal that we really have is, and, and we felt like we could measure retention with this too, is we feel like, you know, we want to go back through, through our team and, you know, because we all sometimes get overwhelmed and we overlook people that have come into our organization and sometimes they're nervous to even say anything or get active again. And so it's really important for you to reach out to those people and ask them, you know, what would you like to do? Um, you don't want to push somebody. If all they want is um, Jade, then that's all they want, you know, and you need to respect that. If they want to get to Pearl, then, then you know, start putting a game plan together to help them get to Pearl. But one thing we wanted is we just wanted to see everybody in our business get to at least Jade. Um, that way their product was being paid for and maybe a little bit more. And so um, that was one of our goals was to get every partner um, to Jade that wants to be to Jade. And, and of course, um, anybody that wants to be more than that, then obviously we would um, love to help them get, uh, acquire that as well. Um, <clears throat> And then the other thing we talked about was, um, you know, just measuring the amounts of J's that we have from event to event. So I don't know, most of you know that um, uh, that Montana is now starting to have their own regionals. So we're really excited. We have one coming up next weekend um, in Great Falls. And, you know, that's what we want to, as the year goes through, we want to measure, um, you know, what that looks like for Montana. Because I know with other markets, they have a lot of new partners that come to um, regionals um, each month. But our goal is to make sure that um, our existing partners are getting there each month because, um, uh, you know, I think the entire state of Montana is a, like a million people. So um, we really want to focus on retention and how to keep uh, um, new partners and existing partners coming back all the time. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, we had somebody on the chat last night throw out um, our, our, our motto would be uh, no partner left behind. And <laughs> I thought that was really cute. So um, let's see, De developing leadership. That was another thing that we talked about for our goal for 2020. Um, you know, developing leadership is um, it's just super important. Um, it's, the, it's the lifeblood of your organization. So um, that's definitely our goal. And um, yeah, so, okay. So then the last thing before we go is, um, is, you know, we talked about like, okay, so we have all of these goals and how do we get to where we want to go? And, you know, we threw out, you know, that ILA is um, going to be, you know, the destination um, for, you know, the middle of this year. And so that was the thing that we talked about. And I talked a little bit about, you know, starting up other small markets and whatnot. And we just said, you know, how can we help people get started? And we went back through and, and then we were like, well, how did we get started? And 
um, Sydney Mitchell goes, it was you guys going to an event. And I said, you're right. And, and so it's just crazy how it always comes back to that one thing that really generates growth. And, and it's, it's the events. Um, the events uh, inspire you. They, they, they build you up from the inside out. They give you the knowledge, the strength, the confidence. Uh, um, you know, it just fires you up in a way that you just otherwise can't be fired up and, and motivated by. Um, you, you know, people should just be going to conferences uh, for whatever their interest is in life uh, because these are the places where you get together and, um, you know, you start, you know, you, you just start really building, um, building each other up and helping cast vision for each other. Um, the human mind is incredible. So when it can just start bouncing off of each other, it's amazing what can happen. Um, so anyway, uh, the roadmap, you know, for getting there is getting to your regionals, um, getting to Diamond, Diamond University, which would be the next one, and then, you know, getting to regionals and then getting to ILA and then going to homecoming and being a part of your local PBRs, uh, being a part of the Zooms, being a part of you know, all those things are events. Anytime you're doing anything within your business with others, it's considered an event. So the more events that you can do, the more success you will see. So anyway, um, I feel like I probably talked too long. Um, so I'm gonna turn it back over to Mr. Um, Antonio Rea. And I just appreciate you guys um, coming on tonight and, and I hope I brought you value and I really just, uh, you know, wish you, <clears throat> well, I'm not going to, you know, I wish you luck, but the, here's the thing is just go out and do those things that you know you need to do. And I'm going to try to do that same thing. I'm giving myself the pep talk as well as, as I'm talking and, and you will definitely build up your organization and your surrounding communities. So, so have a, have an incredible 2020. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you so much again, Emma, for your time. And for all of you that were listening, um, my gosh, what, what valuable information she just shared. Um, one of the things that I really enjoyed about uh, what Emma talked about tonight was um, her personal story, the hesitation, right? Not only the hesitation, but uh, um, the, the, if I remember correctly, she felt like she wanted to cancel her second month in, right? Imagine that. Had she canceled the second month when she got started, she wouldn't be where she is today. But not only that, we would never have had that meeting that we had in that little town that impacted so many, not just individuals, but so many families. So for those of you who are feeling, might be feeling right now, oh my gosh, you know, it's 2020. Yes, I'm excited, but I, I'm just not sure. Take the leap of faith. One thing that Emma shared also is give yourself time. Don't ever compare yourself to anybody. Give yourself time to develop into that leader that your team sees you as. But more importantly, you need to see yourself as. Um, if I could turn the computer and show you this plant next to me, when the seed was planted, it didn't sprout up right away the moment we put water on that. That would have been freaky, right? It would have freaked us out. I think we would kind of freak ourselves out if we would just boom, all of a sudden, you know, the first month we're diamond. Oh my gosh, what's going on? We have no idea, you know? So it takes time to develop yourself. Be patient with yourself. I love, love that advice. Another thing too, um, she talked about um, quite a bit that, that I was writing down is she mentioned the flexibility. Enough said, this business is so flexible Anytime, anywhere, excuses out the window, no questions. It is that flexible. If you're driving from, you know, from work back home, you've got an hour commute, take the time, make a few phone calls. I wouldn't recommend texting and driving, absolutely not. Make some phone calls, right? Check in with your leaders, follow up with your new business partners, maybe even call your, your potential prospect. You have time, just make it. So again, anytime, anywhere, no excuses. I love that. There's so much that, uh, more that she uh, that she shared, but I want to go into uh, uh, the goal uh, the goal piece that she talked about. This go, this plays along so well with the strategy Kayani is building to help you have success. Measuring retention. Imagine this: all of us are working towards the trip of a lifetime, the platinum trip. We're going to be you know we're going to be growing our business with new customers, new business partners. Fantastic. 
But imagine if we looked at the other end and said, hey, let's work on that retention. We start closing off all of that, uh, um, you know, all of those customers or business partners going out the back door. We start closing and sealing that up with the growth coming in, no cancellations or minimizing the cancellations going out. Imagine the growth. Okay. Love, love, love that retention piece. Powerful. It was like a mic drop right there. So thank you, Emma, for sharing that. Reaching out to those who are still with you, absolutely. We never know. Maybe they said, hey, I'd really like to set some goals. I see myself as a jade, a pearl. Doesn't matter where they see themselves at. Let's be that helpful ace hardware employee that goes to them and says, hey, how can I help you? How can I help you get to where it is you're going? Let's be that, 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 uh, let's be that, that close, that, that close knit family, right? How can I help you? How can I support you? I love that. And, you know, so, so much, so much advice, so much guidance provided from someone who was there, someone who felt those real feelings from the get go. She hesitated second month, wanted to cancel, but kept working hard at it and she is growing and my gosh, what an outstanding team she has built. So for those of you who have felt that way, you're not alone. Okay, give yourself time to develop uh, and continue. Just, just move forward, move forward. So again, we have the platinum promotion going on, the pump up the volume going on. Check out those details in the back office. Go to your download print center, far right hand, click on promotions, download that you have the details, put them up where you can see them on a daily basis to remind you I'm working towards my goals. Um, because if we don't have those goals, uh, you know, Emma said this, this kind of rounding all in a nutshell, what she said is if we don't have those goals, I mean, where are we going in 2020? Life's not just going to hand it to us. Right. Um, I, I wrote that, uh, that, that phrase down, you know, life gives us what we prepare for. So many friends I see saying, oh, I, I, you know, this year I'm going to lose those 20 pounds or this year I'm going to make an impact in my financial, you know, uh, you know, situation. But if we're not preparing and preparing means working, if we're not preparing for that, it's not going to happen. That's a cold, hard truth. So let's go at this. I challenge you again, go to your calendar right after this call, check the, uh, or, or, you know, write it on April, 2021. I'm going on this trip. Okay and check the last day of, of January. I'm earning the AirPods by no later than January 31st. Let's make it happen, everyone. Again, happy new year. I wish you the best, uh, you know, that, that this year can bring, not just for your business, for you, your families, for those around you that you care about. Thank you again for taking the time again. Emma, thank you so much. Truly appreciate your leadership and the impact you've had, um, not just with those people there in Montana, but so many others. So everyone, thanks for your time. Have a wonderful, wonderful evening. We'll see ya.